everybody. So I've just put together this quick video showing you how I recently decorated my Calax storage unit. So a lot of you know I've recently moved and I have a new craft room which I'm slowly putting together and sorting out. So I have it now where I want it and I'm starting to decorate bits and pieces so it's really good. So I pulled out my Arteza. This is the 12 by 12 self-adhesive vinyl sheets. They also do the heat transfer and I have a tutorial which I'll link up if you were interested in those because you can use it on clothing and stuff like that but this one is the self adhesive so i'm just using my cricut now it does I, you would have seen there it also comes with a little kind of squeegee and that's for if you're you know you don't have a, a, cut, a actual digital cutting machine you might have your die cuts and you can just use it to help smooth out those dies and um, get a nice transfer so i wanted to cover i've got four doors that i've got on the eight cube calax and um, i just looked on this website and they do free downloadable quotes and i will share them all below and i've put them on each of the doors so this is the first one this one actually says made to create pretty things it's really really good fun so i'm just using my weeding tool you can see all the areas that you need to pull the pieces out from and you can start to see that made to create pretty things coming through really really cute the fact it was free i thought was really good so they are out there just have a little look around and um, i just you know loaded them into the design space and I resized these to about 10 inches. It was about 10 inches across all of these that I show you today. The lengths, the heights obviously vary because each design is different. Now this is where I'm using that Arteza transfer tape. Now I did use the same piece for all four of these and I probably could have used it for a lot more as well. So you don't need to throw it away after one use, just pop it back onto the release paper and pop it back away. So this stuff will last you a long time, but it did make it really easy. I've only got smaller ones, so it was nice to have these big sheets. So a few little pieces were being a bit stubborn there, so I'm just helping them along, but overall it come away really easily. So I just cleaned all of the surface on each of my doors with some disinfectant and then made sure it was really dry before I stuck this down. And then I just used the grids to make sure I got everything nice and straight, pop it on, smooth it down, and then use the, in the Cricut, you get that little, again, like a squeegee. It's not a squeegee, but it's that kind of effect. And it would just help you get all the air bubbles out. And then when you pull this transfer paper off, make sure you pull it really taut right down. So it's almost back on top of each other again. Don't pull it so you're lifting it away. You want to keep it close to the, the surface. And there you see it's transferred really nicely. And that's the first one done. So then the next one is using the red. Now I actually wished, because I kind of found these as I was going along. I should have, first of all, looked for all of them and then decided on the colours because you'll see what's coming up in a minute and I wished I'd done that in red. Anyway, this one's still really good. So it says eat, sleep, craft, repeat. The little kind of dashes in the circle were an absolute pain, but I did get there in the end. And again, you can see me now transferring that over onto that door. Again, yeah, making sure all the surfaces are nice and flat and there's no air bubbles and then you can just peel it away nice and easily again it was a little bit fiddly just because there was all those little dashes but I persevered and I didn't mind I had a nice couple of hours putting this together so it was good fun and you can see that just comes away really nicely nice and smooth job done and then I moved on to the orange one so this is where I wished I'd had the red and you'll see why in a moment because it's for Tannix tea cakes, which are red. But when I looked at them, they are a bit of an orangey red. So I kind of still got away with it. So yeah, this was really, really good fun. I just found this online. It had a Tannix tea cake on it, which I've taken out. And then I've just taken the, obviously the font there. And um, I'm using this for personal use. These aren't for sale. So um, yeah, just obviously watch what you are downloading. And again, see my headshot there. It was just really hard to kind of get my camera in shot. So you're seeing a, uh, a more casual Sam there, but um, I had to kind of rest it on the carpet. But again, it looks really cool. And then onto this blue one. So this one says, I can't, I'm crafting today. Loved the font of this one. Just thought it looked really, really nice. And um, it's a nice size. You could put this onto notebooks. You could put it onto a mug. These are great gifts, you know. I think we're all looking at inexpensive ways to give gifts all the time. This is perfect. Again, just putting that transfer sheet on there. Lift it up pretty easy, this one. Didn't take too long. Just usually like just the little dots and stuff like that can be a little bit fiddly. And then again, this one was down nearer to the floor. So kind of got it in shot there, but you got the idea. And then peel that one away. And again, it looks really, really nice. Little one there just caught on the A. And you just got to watch it as you pull each one off, just check nothing's kind of lifting as you go and just kind of push it back down. 
And then this was an extra one that I'd done. So I didn't show the cutting of this because you've seen it all. But this was exactly what it is. Crafter, the meaning. <laughs> a person who hoards beautiful and shiny objects. And this one I've actually put on the corner of my desk. And I'm really pleased with it. It looks so nice. It just really just adds a really quirky feel to the room and uh, yeah again it was a free svg i'll share them all below you could put this onto notebooks you put them onto mugs again it's a really nice gift to give to another crafty friend and i think it looks fantastic so now you can just see a quick overview of that calax unit mine is a landscape orientation i did used to have it upright but i laid it down so i could have the top for my die cutting machines but overall i'm super pleased with it and my craft room is looking really quite special thanks for watching <laughs>